Hello and welcome, wonderful, amazing video game type people, to Sid Meier's Pirates! Wow! This is the 2005 version by Fraxis and Take Two. And let's get right into it. It began with a celebration. Indebted for years to the Marquis de la Montalban, a family's prosperity was soon to be restored. Their fleet was due to arrive on the morrow, carrying both their hopes and their salvation. But the celebration was befouled by an unwelcome guest. The Marquis himself bearing ill tidings. The fleet had been lost, and the debt had come due. The family's prosperity, sorry, the family's property was seized, and they were pressed into bondage. But one of them would not be a slave. And so it was that the brave young Sion escaped his family's fate swearing to save them and one day avenge the Marquis's foul deed. Ten years later, now grown to his full measure, the young adventurer began his quest to find his family and restore their fortune. Seeking passage to the New World, you inquire at a public house. If ye be looking for passage to the Americas, you can All sign up here. Alright. We shall be Edmund Dantes from the Count of Monte Cristo. We're going to play on Swashbuckler, which is the hardest difficulty. But, keeping in mind that I may not do amazing. That's generally what I play on, actually. Uh, but, usually I play with skill at fencing. So I want to try a new challenge, and most people will say this is generally the one that you want to play at. This will make the game a lot easier, obviously. But I want to try skill at navigation. For whatever reason, I've been just dying to try that. Skill at medicine is okay, because that makes you survive longer, I guess, but it's really probably the least awesome. I'm not sure what Wit and Charm does, but I imagine that'll get you better prizes from Governor's Daughter. Z Governor's Daughters, which I could try. Skill at gunnery I've never tried. But skill at navigation, just because I find the most annoying aspect of the game, is getting from point A to point B really quickly. So we'll try that. We'll go for war for profit. Opportunities abound and success waits. Spain is almost always at war with somebody, and not uncommonly with everybody. Since Spanish military power is a joke, the opportunities for plunder are legion. After a rich cruise against the hapless Spanish, no voyage is complete without a wild party in Tortuga, Barbados, or Curacao. Let's try that. Normally, the Buccaneer Heroes is... Right. Yeah, that's the easiest. The easiest difficulty, basically, is Buccaneer Heroes skill at fencing, okay? And, obviously, Apprentice, but don't bother with that. Swashbuckler should work fine. Let's give this a go. The, the secret to this, right, is playing it this way. I've been playing around with it a little bit, and what I'm finding is I have to change my playstyle, because normally, with skill at fencing, I can just sail in and take anything. But with skill at navigation, I have to account for the fact that I'm not a very good fencer, and I will get beaten especially on Swashbuckler, by a lot of opponents uh, quite quickly. It's harder to win, so I, I need to actually take down their crew numbers in combat before trying to board them, which I think is quite reasonable. Let's go for it. Yeah. You need to sign on as part of a crew. The captains at yonder tables will gladly take you aboard. There be French, Spanish, Dutch, and English ships are looking for able-bodied lads such as yourself. Take your pick. Okay, now we have to decide which one we're going to go for here, and... It actually determines a couple things. Whichever one you pick will give you a letter of mark from the very beginning, which is good. That's kind of how you want to play it. And also, uh, it determines your starting ship. I wouldn't mind a letter of mark. Someone who's hopefully at war with the Spanish that would make life a little bit easier at the beginning. I'm assuming the English will maybe be at war with the Spanish. The English tend to be good. When in Zella. Welcome aboard, Mr. Edmund Dantes. We sail with the tide. The crossing was fraught with terror and cruelty. 
The captain drove the ship and her crew to breaking. You there, scrap harder! Hey, man! Hmm. What's this? Don't touch that! Learn your place! Wimp! <laughs> Push beyond all decency, the cruel mutinies! Oh, no mutiny on my ship! You'll all see, you bilge rats! I'm crazy, and I'll sink this ship with all of us on board, rather than let you foul scum take it! Not if I have something to say about it. What are you gonna do? Kick me in the face? Yes! <laughs> this ship belongs to me now, since I'm the most handsome. Oh, goodbye, you handsome mutineer! Free and under full sail, the ship and its crew at your command. You make your way into the Caribbean. A fortune to be had. A family to rescue. Revenge to be served. Your destiny awaits you. Aww, what a nice family. What is that, like grandfather, mother, and sister, maybe? Alright, so we start in St. Kitts. Uh, population 5200. Let's start by talking to the governor. My dear Mr. Edmund Dantes, please come in. You may be interested to know that we are at war with the evil Spanish and the slimy French. I am pleased to offer a letter of mark which authorizes you to plunder and sink the ships of our enemies. As this map will show, the nearest enemy city is the French city of Montserrat, which lies a short distance to the southeast. Oh, good. Well, then, that makes life easy. I'm about to send the brig Atlantica to blockade Montserrat. Perhaps you would like to tag along and pluck a few French prizes, like I have just plucked this grape? Oh, metaphor. Good day, Mr. Edmund Dantes. Okay, this is the governor of St. Kitts. Nice enough fellow. Let's recruit some fellas. Have you been introduced to the governor of Montserrat's daughter? They say she's a real beauty. Shoot darn it. It's rumored that the La Vengeance bound for St. Kitts is carrying over 1,000 in gold. I believe she's a French sloop. Okay. Perfect, and it's coming for St. Kitts, so we're going to take out La Vengeance, folks. That's going to be our first prize. Done it, Oh, many hidden settlements. That'd be great, but I can't afford it. You kind of want to get as many items as you want, uh, as you can during the game. Uh, there's lots of little fun things about this game. It's quite challenging. It's good that we got a big old crew right now. 72, I think. Okay, oh, sorry, wrong place. Consult with the ship, right? So, here we be. We have a sloop revenge, which is a pretty good starting ship. Uh, much better than the alternative, which is... Uh, yeah. Generally, if you pick the English, you're going to start with a better ship than if you were to pick, say, the Spanish or someone else. I find, personally. So, this is a decent way to go. Chain shot, grave shot. That's lovely. Space and hold for right 40 tons altogether. So if we go to the merchant, you will see that we've got you know 21 tons. That's nice. Check status. Yeah, this is what's interesting. So 75 is the max crew, which is decent for sword fights. Let's rename it. What shall we call the revenge? We shall call it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what shall we call it? Let's name it after something from Avernum. <laughs> the Avernum. Should I just call it Avernum? Yeah, Avernum. There we go, that's cool. Our sloop Avernum. Avernum, Avernum, however you want to pronounce it. It's a great game. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this. Right. Whoa. No, no, no. What's going on? Oh, okay. My uh, numlock was on, so I wasn't able to use my number pad. Okay. Let's give this a go. This doesn't look like a good position for us to be in, but we're going to attack the French sloop, La Vengeance. Uh, we've, it looks like we're pretty much tied for men, but we do have grape shots, so we can use that to our advantage. We definitely want to take it. Alright, here, here we go. Looks like he's coming straight for us. I switched to grape shots, so that's nice. He's trying to take down our... Oh, shoot. Ready, and... Grave 
cheap shot! And then he took down some. Ready? Oh, great shot. Alright, well. They actually have more troops, so we actually have to be good at this. Cutlass tends to be my go to. Alright, this guy's a pretty slow attacker. Whoops. There we go, I'm gonna taunt him a bit. That slows them down. Yeah. Wow, taunting makes a big difference. But we have to ensure that we have enough men for this. Alright, one more hit. There we go. Alright. And the cutlass ensures that I have uh, really quick defensive moves. Alright, 1100 gold. That's actually a really nice start to the game. This is much better of a start than the last couple. So we're going to keep this ship because it's worth selling. We need 8 of our 26 available crew, so I, I don't feel like we have enough crew right now to take any other ships. Not like that anyways, we can sink ships, but this actually seems like a better ship than mine. It's got cotton sails upgraded and the fine gunpowder, so we'll probably end up switching to this one. Which means goodbye to the Avernum. Alright, let's go into Port Nevis here. We're going to talk to the governor in, in Saint er, Nevis, see if we can get promoted to captain. As you know, we're at war, yada yada. I understand that recently you captured a French sloop. Excellent. The king will be pleased. Soon you will be promoted to captain. But not yet. Okay. Well, we're gonna come here. Yes. Welcome aboard, mates. Ooh, let's have a sword fight. The barmaid is annoyed by the pushy captain of the guard. Buzz off, you young whippersnapper, or I'll run you through, he threatens. I'll teach you some manners, knave. Two one. Bye. Hence why sword fighting is really quite useful in this game. Pretty much everything is sword fighting. Boom! Yeah, this is the trouble here, is, is the advantage totally balances out during this cutscene most of the time. He's got pretty... Whoa, he's pretty fast. There we go. Whew. My, but you're a bold one. That quick sword of yours will come in handy around these parts. Looks like more men are looking to join your crew. Oh, that's nice. I don't think that that's actually necessary, though. We'll have to... We, yeah. We, we're maxed out. The La Home Mort, bound for Nevis, is carrying over a thousand in gold. She's a French sloop. You are here. Alright, look at what luck. We've got another sloop. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I'm not interested. I'm keeping my gold, buddy. Monster has daughter is beautiful. Okay. Um, now, I suppose one of the things I could do is just keep the sloops. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. I'm going to switch to the Vengeance here as my main sloop because it's got the cotton sails and fine. Yes, but I will keep my extra sloop. Have or not. It's a good idea to keep a backup ship. Okay. Do that. Which would also mean that I could get more. Because we get the ten more guys. Good. Okay. So we're going to go to check status. We're going to go to fleet status. Here we go. Uh, we're going to flagship this bad boy. Did I, did I do it? Hey. Oh, what? I can't change... Okay, that's fine. Well then, I shall name you Exile. Oh. Okay, real quick. Man, it's about quick. There we go. Okay, Exile is our new ship. Very good. The Cotton Sales is probably one of the best upgrades in the game. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save the game here. That seems like a nice life choice. This one, that French smuggler. That's the one we want. Oi! La Home Mort, okay. Yeah, we've. Okay. How are we going to approach this? Oh, 
avoid them, avoid them. Nice. Ready, fire. There we go. Always going for my poor sails. Accuracy sucks. Wow, we might have messed up pretty hard here. Come on. Close with the ship, close with the ship, close with the ship. Just get get in close. Forget grape shot. Come on. No. Oh, you're kidding me. Are they just gonna sink my ship now? Oh no. Come on, board us. Board us. We're gonna sail towards you and board you. And I'm so good at navigation. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Come on! Portas! Oh, those cut As- What? As your ship approaches, the enemy strikes her colors. A wealth and golden blunder are yours for the taking. Oh, my goodness. One of the French crewmen is a skilled gunner who can train gunners at rapid firing. He is quickly persuaded to join our crew. Oh... That was terrifying. Okay, never again. Lesson learned. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna... Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's all I can say. We lucked out there because what happened is that is that we took the crew down enough with the grape shot that it, it was an automatic surrender thing. And automatic surrender has a, a, you know, a smaller radius than actual boarding fights. So, that's lovely. <laughs> We're doing well, but we... Oh, this is going to take an, a lifetime to get us back to Nevis so that we can get that promotion and repair some stuff. The good thing is I believe being a captain makes recruiting easier. That's right, not repairs. I don't think it makes repairs easier. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, goodness. You really ought to promote me already. Do I even have enough money for that? Oh, I suppose I do. That's pretty rough. That's it. Oh, that's my suppose we could sell the exile or keep it. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, okay, we'll we'll keep the exile. Ugh, there goes all my money. Okay. Trade with the merchant. Right, we have spices. We should be selling the spices. Uh, let's see if the guy in the tavern sometimes sometimes knows. Oh goodness, not again. Okay. <laughs> This damn captain of the guard just never learns his lesson. You know, she really could have done that earlier, but that's cool too. Ah. Alright, we get more crew. But this is what I wanted. The ship right in St. Kitts can upgrade your ship with bronze cannon. Your ship will fire more accurately. That sounds lovely. Mm hmm. Spanish treasure fleet. Ah, uh, we don't need to steal pirates treasure right here. Ten men, welcome aboard, mates. Okay. So, here's where we stand. Cotton sales, copper plating, I love that, but no grape shot on the level mort. What, uh, chain shot over here? Okay, we've all got chain shot, so that's nice. Oh, man, things have been pretty intense lately. Alright, clearly, we need to capture some more French ships. There we go. French sloop of war. We're gonna try and get this guy, but I want the wind on my side, so we're gonna approach from the right. Alright, and we will take the uh, the sloop of war and the merchantman. I would I'd like to take both. It looks like it may be hard. The merchantman probably will have a trader on it, and traders are easier to fight in sword combat, but the sloop of war. Let's give it a go. Let's see how we do. First, soften up with some of that. Okay. Good. 
good. We dodged. Yeah, now the you can see they're both on it because it's an escort thing. Oh no, they escaped. Too much range. Well, we didn't take any hits, so that's good. Oh, we did just go through a storm. Let's take this French park. It's probably kind of banged up anyway, so that's nice. Shot. Fire. There we go, there we go. 33 crew. Come on, come on, come on, turn quicker, turn quicker. I know you're sailing into the wind, but you got this, buddy. Come on, again, again. There we go, 24 crew. All right, all right, give it one more good go. Oh, oh no, 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 this is not good. I don't know if that's gonna work. Yeah, that did work, great. Come on. Wait for it. And fire! Is that too soon? Nope, 16 crew. Oh, and the nice thing is when they're down on crew, their reload speed just gets, you know, absolutely destroyed. I think they're gonna surrender. 15 crew, really? You're gonna make me fight 15 crew? And we've got that gunner now, which is lovely. Yep, the flag's up, white flag, they surrender. Not much, but we did get goods. Okay, goods and guns. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. The sail damage is pretty heavy. I will keep you, though. Or will I sink you? I could sink you. We need 40 of our 41 available crew. Okay, I'm going to sink you. Yes, okay. I'm going to sink you. I'm sorry. Um, what's going on here? Do I need to keep you in order to... Do. Okay, yeah, we'll keep you then for the goods. Okay. Let's start getting some promotions. Holy. Let's also see how St. Eustatius is doing. Oh, there's a grain transport. French coastal bark. Grain transport. Ooh. 12 guns and 11 men. That's not fun. Let's look at the uh, fleet status. Is there anyone that we could potentially do this with? The bark is the one that's really banged up, though, so that's no good. That just won't do. Uh, the sails were damaged in the storm for all of them a little bit. See, that's really risky. We could try that and potentially sink it, but there would be no boarding battle. Not like that. Uh, which one's the one that's better at turning? This one? This one will do. Okay, we'll use the Le Mort. Let's rename this. What's a, what's a good game we can rename it after? Du, 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 the uh, what's that thing? It's big. Uh, it's in a dungeon. It's in a mountain. And you have to go down the mountain. <laughs> Grimrock. All right. There we go. Whoop. Okay, so my Grimrock is going to attack the coastal bark. It's just a great transport. So, oh boy, this close to the town. Well, it's nice to know that they have, like, no guns. So we're just going to destroy them. Oh. oh, come on. I totally forgot. Oh, we don't have enough crew to properly reload this thing fast. So that sucks a lot. I might just want to run away. Come on. Come on. This is why crew is very important. My suspects. Oh, my. Sailing into the wind is not a good idea. Okay. Hit him. Nice. That was really solid. Thank you. Ooh. I think he's he's worse. He's coming aboard us. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Please, 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 please. Oh my gosh, that was so terrifying. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, see, on the swashbuckler difficulty, especially early on, I definitely need to be way more careful than I am. I'm just awful at uh, not being careful. Alright, we're doing okay. We're doing okay here. Here we go. Changing the view up a bit so I can... Hey! Take that, yes. There we go. There we go. 12 knots versus his 7. Alright, this feels good. 
This feels good. Let's uh, turn it in, turn it in, turn it in, and fire! Oh, very nice, very nice. We're just going to keep going with one gun. Oh, are you... Did you just sink? Oh, you just sank, son. Lovely. Okay, we're going to go into St. Eustatius. Talk to the governor. The Dutch governor. And evil Spanish. Hyper Deodroid. Plunder and sink the ships of our enemies. The cost of this flight will offer a mere 200. That seems very reasonable. Yes. 250 gold for a letter of mark with the Dutch as well. Delphin Toss. Yo. Against the Spanish. That seems great. Okay, we'll work for the Dutch and the off. English for now. Yo. Ooh, mamma mia. Welcome aboard, mates. Info about Bart Roberts. No, no, no. What do we have here? It. Bronze cannon. Yeah, uh -huh. All right, now here are the more important things here. Is actually we can repair all of these, but what we're gonna want to do is sell. Yeah, we're gonna sell the bark. So we're gonna come here and sell the spices. Actually, can we just sell all? There you go. Look at that, making a lot, making all the monies. All the money. It's okay, the goods are kind of... We're getting ripped off on the goods here, but... Worth it. Oh yeah, look at all that food. We don't need that much food. Guns, bro. Wow. Alright, we'll take you down to 20 tons of food. Uh, yeah, goodness. I don't know. I don't think we need that many guns. Okay, we took most of their gold, so that's nice. Okay, now we're gonna use that gold to do a couple things. First, we're gonna sell this bark. We don't need it. Goodbye, bark. Okay, and then we can repair our lovely ships. Uh, uh, Grimrock, the Avernum, and the Exile. Fine ships, all of them. The yeah, really, the Grimrock is the best one right now with the cotton sales, copper plating. Copper plating helps it turn, cotton sales makes it go faster. The uh, Grape Shot might not be a bad upgrade for it. We're going to continue to use this as our as our dude. Uh -huh. So let's do that. Uh -huh. Okay, we're doing good. We've got a decent sized crew. Uh, a lot of cannons. I don't think we need that many. Really, I don't think we do. What's the max cannon number? I think we're gonna get that promotion and then we're gonna call it a day. So we're gonna look at that. Look at our lovely little three ducks in a row kind of thing. Oh, that's good. I was worried there was gonna they're gonna crash, but they'll just sail through the land. Alright, Governor of St. Kitts. Or Kitts. Uh, I can't keep track of which one's a saint, which one's not. Aha. I understand that you recently that recently you sank a French grain transport and you captured a French bark. Excellent. The king will be pleased. In recognition of your service to the English crown, I am pleased to promote you to the rank of captain. Congratulations. As a result, crew recruiting will be easier in English ports. I am also pleased to grant you an estate of 100 acres on the outskirts of town. Oh, good. The governor's attractive daughter enters the room. My, Mr. Edmund Dantes, you are quite a handsome young ruffian. Perhaps when you have achieved the rank of colonel, you could escort me to the Grand Ball. Good day, Captain Edmund Dantes. Oh, very good. Okay, so we're going to call this episode here today. And, well, once we go out onto C, I'm going to save it and call it. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, right into the rocks. Okay, let's save the game. Ta-da! Okay, so that's it for today on here, on this game that we just did. And as you can see, things are going pretty well, actually. Really well for a, for a rough start. The sloop is helpful with the English, and we got that gunner. We really lucked out earlier there. Uh, later on, we'll be able to dance with governor's daughters and get lots of great prizes. It's going to be quite fun. I think we're off to a great start, and hopefully you enjoy. So I'll see you guys next time on Sid Meier's Pirates. Bye.